Today, we will walk you through the process of troubleshooting this issue, step by step, to help you get back on track. First things first, you need to check the ISP link of the branch experiencing the issue. One simple tool to use is the ping command. By pinging the IP address of the application, you can test the reachability of your host on the network and measure the round-trip time for messages sent from your host to the destination computer. If the ping command returns an unusually high round-trip time or, worse, fails to reach the host altogether, you may have found your culprit. The problem could be with the W1 interface. In such a case, notifying your network service provider about the issue would be the right course of action. Next on the list is the tracer root command. Traceroot helps you understand the path packets take to reach the application. Keep the source as the VLAN facing the slowness issue. If there's a bottleneck somewhere along the way, Traceroot will help you identify it. But what if the issue isn't with the network? Hi, hi. Itna sukoon. Sometimes, the server or load balancer could be the cause of the problem. In such scenarios, you might want to check the server's CPU usage, memory utilization, and disk I.O. operations. If any of these metrics are excessively high, it could be causing the slowness. Finally, if all else fails, you might need to go deeper to the packet level. <laughs> Running a packet capture can help you identify any possible issues that might be causing the slowness. Look out for retransmissions, duplicate acknowledgements, or out-of-order packets. These could be signs of network issues. Khatam. Bye-bye. Tata. Goodbye.